Arson investigation underway in Randolph, leading to an arrest after fire destroys an unoccupied home. Neighbors are being credited with giving police the clues needed to nab the suspect. Adam Sullivan reports. Only a charged structure still stands here on Dudley Street after a weekend fire that investigators say was intentionally set. However, at this time, a motive for the blaze is not known. And the first thing I saw was a flickering orange light. When Deb Tucker looked out her picture window Saturday night, she knew something was wrong. She saw a man holding what appeared to be a flame in front of the house directly across the street. Tucker called police and moments later, the house was on fire. And by the time I actually got 911 back, on the phone, there were flames visible shooting up that side of the house. Monday afternoon, Claire Sherman, seen here top middle, was arraigned for arson. Police say another witness, who also called 911 Saturday evening, identified Sherman as the man who lit the fire. Sherman lives right around the corner where he was taken into custody. The neighbors saw something and they reported and they called it in. Randolph police were out on a different call at the time of the fire. State police is leading the investigation, but authorities say community awareness helped crack the case. You know, that, that actually works. You see something, say something. And, and that's what brings the, the communities together. And we can start knocking out these crime waves. Tucker has seen Sherman walk by her house in the past. I don't know Claire well, but I never saw him as that kind of person. She's grateful no other homes in the tight-knit neighborhood were damaged. They worked for about four hours, and people went in and out with and without oxygen masks, and I just couldn't have been more impressed. Neighbors say the home hasn't been lived in for quite some time and no injuries were reported. Anyone with information about the fire is asked to call the Vermont State Police. Reporting from Randolph, Adam Sullivan, Channel 3 News.